Tell Wind you I review 2025. It's 2025. Tailwind have just released a new version. Tailwind UI exists still. So let's have a look at Tailwind UI and pass a lot of judgment on it. I have made a couple of reviews on Tailwind UI previously. So this one is gonna be a bit different. It's gonna be exactly the same. Bento grids. I've never heard of them before until I logged into my Tailwind UI account one day and I saw bento grids. Um, I don't know what that means, bento. Anyone know? Let me know in the comments. Um, but this is a bento grid. It's basically a grid with curved bits from what I can see. Um, this is nice though, isn't it? This is nice. I'm enjoying looking at the bento grids. Um, what I'm starting to realize, because I did actually Google bento grids earlier as well, because I uh, wanted to have some sort of preparation for this, because I knew I was going to mention bento grids, um, is that it is all to do with the graphics that you use. If you use nice looking images, then it's going to look nice. And what a lot of other competitors have done, I might want to point out, is when you hover over them, they move around and stuff. Just a thought, just a thought that you might want to do that. But this is nice, this is nice. I haven't actually used a bento grid on my website or any of my websites for that matter. Um, reason for it being is I can't think of a use that I have for it at the moment, but I feel like that would look nice on your homepage, probably. You could just display some information. But yeah, that's nice, that's nice. I think this is the nicest one probably here, and I think it's because there's a bit of a bigger gap in between. Might be an optical illusion. Nice, good job, good job. I think we can all agree that it looks nice. So. This is the sort of thing you're gonna get when you get an account with Tailwind UI, if you get an account. Um, a lot of people don't like the fact that you have to pay for it. But I'm gonna be completely honest with you, it's one of the best things I've ever spent money on. And also, I'm gonna be honest with you, I have never been paid to say anything about Tailwind UI, unfortunately. and. To be honest with you, I'm a bit angry about that. So if any of you knows Adam Wathan, Wathan, uh, but if anyone knows Adam, Tailwind Adam, can you drop him an email or text him and just say, look mate, there's this guy on YouTube uh, who does videos about Tailwind, quite an unhealthy amount of videos about Tailwind without getting paid for it. And if you could maybe, you know, send him some money. I know you've got money. I know you've got money. If you could send me some money, that'd be great. And in return for money, I will make plenty more videos about Tailwind and Tailwind UI. Do you know how many people have emailed me, left comments, uh, only those two forms of communication to be fair, um, and said that they've bought Tailwind UI off the back of watching one of my videos. Do you actually understand how many people that is? It's about four. So that's pretty good, but I'm sure I could up that number if you want to give me money because I will say more nice things. And I mean them, I do mean them. Look how nice these are, by the way. These are pricing sections. I think I've got a bit of a, a weird obsession with pricing sections. There's just something really nice about them. I used one of these for my website. This is an adapted pricing section from Tailwind UI. That's the beauty of Tailwind UI, by the way. You have 
all the code so you can completely customize it to how you want it to be. Um, some might argue I made it look worse. So this was the original one if I can find it. So this was the original one, uh, I think, and I have adapted it. Have I made it look better? Should I work for Tailwind UI? If anyone knows Adam, or if you're watching Adam, I don't know, if you're watching, if you wanna send me money. This is meant to be a review for Tailwind UI, by the way, not just a um, interview for me getting money. But um, yeah, sorry about that. Let's have a look at some more components. So this is the home page. They've even made this look so nice. Look, these are this is actual components. This isn't just an image. This is nice. So look at all these. Let's have a look at something else. What's a nice component that you'd like to look at? So you've got different sections. So application, um, you've got e-commerce somewhere down here little things like this so this for example is very very useful radio groups i know it's like oh yeah it's just radios but when you have to actually build that yourself it takes so much time compared to just copying and pasting the code in uh, so it really is handy this is one down here that i use quite often is that right should they be that close together, do you think? Um, look, this one I use all the time. I really like this. Um, so it uses headless UI, or it did the last time I checked. Um, if you know about head just headless UI, then you know, but I'm not gonna explain what that is. You can look that up for yourself. Um, but yeah, I wanna show you an actual component, a free component that you can see the code for, because I think that's actually really useful for you to get an idea. So this one, for example, hero, just a basic hero, and you can just get all this code. You literally copy that, paste it into your project, and you're good to go, and it all works. All you have to do is install Tailwind, obviously, uh, headless UI, and I think that's it. I think that's it, and you can do this with HTML, React, or Vue. So I use Vue a lot. Uh, not a React guy, but yeah, I use Vue. So I use that with Laravel, works very nicely. So I've got Laravel projects that use it. If you use Laravel starter, um, starter, I don't know what even the word is, starter projects such as Laravel Jetstream, that comes with Tailwind installed as standard. So the views that come with that are Tailwind. So it just works really well. If I didn't know better, this is just my opinion, I don't know any better. I feel like they all know each other and it's kind of like a very, very good relationship between Laravel, Tailwind, um, and all those sort of people. And I'm here for it, to be honest with you, because I use all of those tools, not all of them obviously, I use Laravel, I use Tailwind, and it's a very nice, very nice, uh, they complement each other very nicely. So yeah, keep doing stuff together, please. And I really do appreciate all the stuff that you guys put out there and stuff you do for free and the paid stuff. So I use uh, Tailwind UI, which I do pay for, which is this. Um, I use Laravel. I'm not sure why I'm talking about Laravel so much in a Tailwind UI review, but I am. So that's where we're at. Um, yeah, so Laravel, they've got paid products as well. I have been a customer, I actually still am a customer actually, uh, of Laravel Forge. I use that for two websites that I have, but I do use another hosting provider for most of my websites, um, just because I do actually prefer doing it myself. Um, not doing it myself, I just prefer my other hosting provider, basically. Um, but Laravel Forge is very good, very good indeed. So if you want to use that, use that. But I, I'm waffling, aren't I? I am waffling. Why am I advertising everything? Why am I just advertising things that are nothing to do with this? Don't get paid. By the way, on that note, 
Laravel guys, Taylor, can you send me money as well? I, I, I'll do some more videos. Anyway, probably um, this is probably the worst video I've ever done. Um, which is saying something. What else have we got? Testimonials, they're quite nice. So, um, I'm not a huge fan of that one, but the one that I personally like is this one here. And I used to like a different one, the archived ones. I, I have mentioned before that I quite enjoy the old, oh, I like this, I like this. I quite enjoy the old version or the previous version, should I say? which did have some different components in. I thought that they had the archived ones, but maybe that's only on certain elements. Potentially, I'm not sure. But yeah, but this is really nice, isn't it? This is nice. I actually did a video where I tried to make my own version of a testimonial section, and I discovered how difficult it is to design things. Well, I already knew that. I already knew it was difficult. And I'm not a designer, and that's why tools like Tailwind UI are so good if you're not naturally good at design or you just don't want to put that time and effort into design because it is time consuming and it is a lot of effort to do. So um, yeah, it is worth getting if you are not that way inclined. Let's have a look at UI kit. I've got a feeling this was something that did not interest me because it was React. Yeah, it doesn't interest me, but if you use React, maybe you are interested in that. So this is, what is it? What even is this? Like I was actually gonna do a video on this before, but I can't remember. Move as fast as you can with a UI library without compromising on your own vision with modern UI components that are part of your own code base. I don't really know what that means to be honest with you. I don't know what that means. Yeah, not very good review. I don't actually, I don't personally care about that. So if you care about that, you can have a look at that, but I don't. Uh, templates. <laughs> also, I don't really, I'm not, I don't really care about these either because last time I checked, they didn't have Vue.js. Yeah, see this is, um, this is a drawback for me personally, but at the same time, it's not because when I got Tailwind UI, I don't think these templates even existed. Uh, the UI kit certainly didn't exist. So it's not something that I, got a hair in my mouth. It's not something that I was expecting to have access to, not something I particularly need or want. I probably would use it if there were Nuxt templates, for example, I would probably use it. But um, as I said, it's not, it's not what I would be buying this for anyway. I uh, purely bought this for the Components. Oh my gosh, you can buy these separately. I tell you what, just if you're gonna get this, you just should probably get all access because it is one of those things. If you're anything like me, you're gonna use this every single day of your life, of your working life anyway. Um, and it's really not expensive for what it is. Let's see, how much is it? So for a personal one time, that's $379, which is like 50 pounds. No, I'm joking. Which is like, what's half of that? It's about half of that, it's like 100, 190 pounds probably. Yeah, do a conversion. If you're not Australian, do the conversion. I don't know what it is in US dollars, but it's, it's actually a bargain it is actually a bargain and i do get people messaging me or commenting saying that it's too expensive and i, I understand it can be expensive for some people and for some people that's not expensive at all if you're going to use it all the time you can't you can't really put a price on how much time it's going to save you it's going to save you so much time that it will make up for that price so quickly i yeah the amount of time I've used it, it's basically cost me nothing because I've made way more money from using it with clients than I ever have with, um... am I allowed to use it with clients before I, uh, before I publish that? I just want to check. What does a personal license mean? Personal individuals. 
I have used this only purely on personal projects. Yeah, so it's gonna, it's gonna just save you so much time. So much time. Um, so much time, so much money, so much effort. And it's gonna make your work look a lot better if you're not naturally good at design. And even if you probably are good at design, it's probably gonna make your work better because I don't know you, but I would be surprised if you can design better stuff than that. Prove me wrong. Send me an example of your work and I will compare them. So yeah, overall, I think it's fair to say that it's pretty flipping good and I do recommend it. I've been using it for a number of years now. I think about three years, maybe even longer, I'm not sure. Can't remember, I lost track. But it is worth it and, you know, like I said, I use it pretty much every day. Probably one of the best things I've ever spent money on in terms of productivity, it certainly is. And yeah, I really do recommend that you use it. Uh, they've got free components if you do want to test it out. I'm not sure which ones, you can have a look for yourself, but I think I saw it. Was there a hero that I looked at just now? So they've got free components, but yeah, it is worth it. Yeah, that's about it. All right, the end. Bento grids. Tell I saw bento grids. I don't know what that means. Bento. This is a bento grid. It's basically a grid. I'm enjoying looking at the bento grids. So I did actually Google bento grids earlier as well. Bento grids. I haven't actually used a bento grid 